some breaking news that have just come into our 7 Action Newsroom. We are getting word that about 100 DDOT bus drivers are refusing to go out on the routes today. Yeah, and this could cause a problem for those getting out this morning. This all stems from a driver getting assaulted yesterday, and 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live on the west side at one of the DDOT garages. What's going on right now, Kim? Well, I'm live in front of the Coolidge Terminal, and if you take a look behind me, normally you would see buses coming in and out here. You are not going to see that right now. The drivers have turned up for work, but they are not driving buses. They are simply too worried about their safety due to an assault that happened yesterday. I am joined now by William Williams and Paray Lyle. Both represent the union for bus drivers. Tell me what happened. Uh, yesterday at the uh, Rosa Parks Transit Center, there were, uh, uh, was an operator assaulted on his bus by about six or seven guys, an operator, a service inspector, and another operator. Uh, no one came to his assistance. This uh, melee went on for 15, 20 minutes. Uh, no transit officer came out. No Detroit police showed up. Nobody showed up. This is a, uh, 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 there have been a series of assaults over the last year since the bus service is real bad. Uh, the passengers are starting to take it out on the drivers because we're the only representatives that they see. So it's, it's becoming increasingly dangerous to be on the bus and then there's no assistance coming. We have no protection on the bus. And if you can't get protection at the transit center in downtown Detroit, where all the police and all your safety is supposed to be, on the road, we don't stand a chance. We We've got people that are in the hospital now from assaults. We have people who were stabbed. Uh, you, you don't hear all the stories, but this was the straw that broke the camel's back, and the operators are simply afraid to drive their buses. And Ms. Lyle, I was talking to you about how often this is happening. Tell me about that. Oh, it's been a, about a year that's been going on. We had a um, shortage of the buses. People are getting mad out here. They're waiting two, three hours. The first person they see is an operator. You know, so now they're taking it out on us. We just need the security. What are you telling bus drivers this morning? I haven't told them anything. They're coming to me telling me that they're scared to go out. I haven't told them anything. Now, who needs to change something? Is it DDA? Is it the police? What's the issue here? It's the entire policing committed community. I feel that I'm a citizen of the state of Michigan. I'm a citizen of the county of Wayne, and I'm a citizen of the city of Detroit. Someone needs to step up and protect its citizens, whether they're on a bus or on the street or anywhere. Uh, the, 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 the powers to be need to come together and find a way to protect the citizens as they arrive. It's not just the drivers, it's the citizens as well, because they're being assaulted, robbed at bus stops. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's no one coming to our assistance. Everybody's crying broke, but somebody needs to step up and, and help us in this situation. What do you want to say to people who rely on this bus system? How long could this go on? What message do they need to take away? Um, as a 23-year operator, I've developed relationships with people. There's people out there right now that's waiting for me, that know me by name. It's a hurting feeling not to be able to provide them the type of service they need to survive. I rode the bus before I drove it. So I understand what people are trying to go through to, to get buses. And, and what I want to say to them, we, we're sorry that we can't provide you with what, what you need. We need our leaders to give us what we need to provide service to you. We don't have what we need, and they're not giving it to us. Everybody's crying broke. They need to do something. Between us and the smart system, they're even struggling. Southeastern Michigan has been crippled with transportation ever since I've been here. We're the only city in the nation that operates a transit system out of its city budget. We need a dedicated source of funding. We need a real transit operation to come in and just push this transportation issue, issue forward. It's not just this issue, it's a common, this is a culmination of a bunch of problems. As an operator and, and from ATU Local 26, we're sorry for your inconvenience, but believe me, we're fighting for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. And as for what DDOT's saying, we called their number and there is a message that says it is extremely sorry for the extreme delays that are going to be happening today. Um, you're probably going to need to find another way to get to where you're going if you rely on the bus system. Live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, we appreciate that report too, Kim, and obviously their time. And uh, we'll be continuing to follow this story throughout the day because it's going to affect a lot of people, over 100 bus drivers refusing to come into work, fearing for their safety to drive.